Everybody wants to make a smoothie now. Here's the problem with smoothies. There are two kinds of fiber. There's soluble fiber and there's insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber is like pectins, like what holds jelly together. Insoluble fiber is like cellulose, the stringy stuff in celery. Real food has both. Fruit has both. When you consume the fruit containing its inherent fiber, called an orange or a pear or even a grape, the soluble and insoluble fiber forms a gel, a whitish gel on the inside of your intestine formulates a secondary barrier which prevents absorption early on in the intestine. The food moves through the intestine faster, reaches down below, and that's where the bacteria are. And so the bacteria will chew it up instead of you. So when you're consuming fruit, you're really feeding your bacteria, and that's good for your liver. But when you put the fruit into a blender, a Vitamix, a Nutribullet, a Breville, or any of the other machines that are now on the market, What's happening is you are shearing the insoluble fiber, the long stringy stuff, to smithereens, so you can't formulate that gel on the inside of your intestine. You will still get the benefits of the soluble fiber, and that means that the food will still move through the intestine faster, which means you'll get your satiety signal sooner, which is still somewhat valuable. But of the four things that fiber does to help your health, you will have lost three of them. So I think it makes more sense to eat the fruit.